Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since I last did a come book shopping with me video. I think the last come book shopping with me video that I did was when I went to Edinburgh earlier this year. However, I recently went down to Bath for the afternoon slash evening <laughs> and overnight and I looked around quite a few bookshops. So I thought I would take you along with me and show you how amazing the bookshops are in Bath. There were four bookshops <laughs> that we visited, Waterstones, Toppings, Persephone Books and Mr B's Bookish Emporium, I think is how you say it. I hope I've got the name of that one right. <laughs> but yeah, we looked around at four bookshops in total and then we also visited the indoor market where they have like a secondhand bookstall. I will show you my book haul at the end of this video. I don't know if I can even call it a book haul because I didn't buy that many books. <laughs> One of the books I've already read and then I did pick up a blind date with a book which I haven't opened yet so I can open that on camera but yeah. I'm not going to ramble too much in this intro because it is really really hot in the UK at the moment and I already feel like I'm melting so we're going to get into the video. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the vlog. So comfortable no one seems to hold me like you do So wonderful, a star could never shine as bright as you. Mm -hmm. Even the dark, they still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you. I feel so lucky I met you, and I still. Can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. I swear you must have felt from the sky. And I feel um, so lucky I met you. It's not logical. The way I feel when you walk in the room. Mm -hmm. When you walk in the room. It's not optional. It's not optional. How gravity just pulls me right to you. Even the birds still sing at night Every word just comes out right When I'm with you, with you I feel so lucky I met you And I still um, can't believe that I get to See those eyes from more than tonight I swear you must have felt from the sky And I feel um, so lucky I met you It's been my whole life waiting Someone like you, baby And all these broken roses led to you Spend my whole life waiting For someone like you, baby And all these broken roses led to you I feel so lucky I met you And I still can't believe that I get to See those eyes from more than tonight
ever been one and not follow the signs You're looking like a one way Gotta make the right choice Hope I make the right noise Hoping that you like boys like me I know you're feeling me from across the room I got a feeling you could be my muse I hear strange when I see you You say green but I see blue Either way your eyes the ones I'm looking to When I'm hell first Falling from heaven Okay, so I put my hair up, so I'm a little bit more comfortable. And let's talk about the books that I did buy. So I didn't buy anything in Waterstones, Persephone Books, or Mr. B's. I was really tempted by a few books, but I decided I already have too many books on my TBR that I want to get around to this year. So realistically, any books that I buy, I'm probably not going to get around to reading them until 2024. So I decided to be more restrained. <laughs> However, when I was in Toppings, I saw a hardback copy of The Travelling Cat Chronicles by Hiro Arakawa, which is one of my favourite books of the year. And this edition is just so cute. It also has marbling, which I thought was quite cute. And yeah, I don't own a physical copy of this book because I read it on my Kindle, but because I loved this book so much. And this hardback was actually only 9.99, I think, which is a similar price as the paperback. I couldn't resist <laughs> not taking this home. So this is the first book that I bought. This is translated fiction. It was originally originally <laughs> published in Japanese and it's about a boy. I say boy, he's a man, he's like in his 20s. And he is trying to find someone who can take care of his cat. So they basically go on this road trip around Japan, visiting his friends and family members, trying to find someone who can take in this cat and it's just so heartwarming but also heartbreaking. It made me cry so much that I could not see the page to carry on reading so yeah, really excited to have a physical copy of this one. Like I said, I did also pick up a blind date with a book in toppings and this sounded really intriguing. It says it's a quietly compelling story that spans many centuries and many places, but it's told in intimate fragments of personal stories. So I think we're gonna be following a few different characters and we're gonna see them dealing with different struggles from love and loss to a pandemic life and existential crisis. So yeah, this did intrigue me. It sounds like it's going to be beautifully written and quite eerie. It says that it's full of mysterious moments and thought-provoking possibilities. So I'm going to open this now. I should have thought ahead actually and ripped off <laughs> the uh, sellotape before filming this. But let's see if I can show you. Oh, okay. So I have actually heard of this. I've never actually read anything by Emily St. John Menzel, but this is The Sea of Tranquility and it is a beautiful edition. I don't know if that's going to focus. There it is. <laughs> so you can see the sprayed edges, but I am really excited about this. I've heard amazing things about this author and yeah, I think it's sci-fi or it's literary fiction with a sci-fi twist and I'm really excited about this. Oh, see, it's always a risk with a blind date with a book because you literally don't know what you're getting. You're picking the book up based on the short synopsis. But yeah, I am so excited about this. Let me know if you've read this book and what you thought of it. But I am hopefully, I'm not going to get to it this year, I mean, I might do, but I will be adding this to my TBR for next year if I don't get around to it before then. But yeah, that is my little book haul from Bath. I don't think I can even call it a book haul, but those are the two books that I picked up in Bath. And I think that's everything that I needed to say in this outro. I don't know how long this vlog is gonna be. I've edited all of the B-roll already and it didn't seem that long, 
but hopefully you enjoyed looking around the bookshops in Bath with me. Let me know in the comments if you've ever been to Bath and what you thought of it. We didn't get around to look around at many of the tourist attractions like the Jane Austen Centre and the Roman Baths because we just didn't have that much time but Bath is only around an hour and a half drive from me so I would like to go again. This was actually my second time visiting Bath. I don't know if I even said that <laughs> but yeah it is definitely a city that I would like to visit many times <laughs> because it is just a beautiful place to walk around. I'm going to start rambling though and wrap up this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and click subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me but otherwise I will see you next time. Bye!